There we go. I feel like the date doesn't really start until after you've ordered your food. I mean, I know it kind of starts when you get picked up, or like, show up at the place that you're going to, or whatever, but... It just really feels like you don't actually get to talk until you've ordered your food. I mean, beforehand, like, half of your brain is dealing with driving, or finding the restaurant, and then you have to do what to drink, and what you want to order, and all that, but... Now that we have all of that taken care of, all we have to do is just wait for our food and talk. Just to each other. That's the whole point, right? Just hanging out with each other and spending time together. Just you and me. It feels like it's been forever since we've been able to do something like this. Just take a weekend, or even a night for that matter, to just relax and go out somewhere. I mean, not that having dinner together at the house isn't fun. I mean, trying to figure out how to cook together is definitely something that could be considered an adventure of sorts, but I don't know. Something about a fancy restaurant and getting all dressed up, it just makes it feel really special. So, I'm glad that we got to do this tonight. Even though it's not exactly like an anniversary or holiday or anything like that, just... I don't know. I feel like with your work and my work, it's been a little bit crazy lately. It feels like being able to find time to hang out together has been a little bit of a challenge recently. I know that you're super busy with all your projects at work and stuff, and that's super important to you. I totally get it. I mean... My work is super important to me, too. Not as important as our relationship, of course, but... Well, I definitely know what it's like to be torn between having to choose between going go home and spending the night with you, or stay in the office and getting a decent amount done for an important project. But regardless of all that, or whether it's right or wrong or whatever... I'm glad that we at least get to have this night together. I think we should definitely make an effort to try and find out how to spend some more time together like this. I mean, I know that dinner at the house is cheaper and sometimes easier and stuff like that, since then we can kind of come in at our own time and it can be kind of spontaneous, too. And I guess there are other benefits. Like, if it's our house, it's easier to sneak off than do something right after eating, without having to deal with getting in the car again and all that. But, I don't know. Something about a restaurant. It just feels so romantic and real and like it's a big event, you know? Even when it's not, like with dates and everything. And... I guess there's plenty of restaurants that we can go to that are just as fancy as this that don't require reservations or anything. So, maybe we could spontaneously do something like that. I guess me getting all my makeup and stuff on would make it take some time, and I would probably make us late. Hey, I was only a little bit late today, and also on top of the little bit, it was totally not my fault because we would have still hit traffic if I hadn't spent all that time looking for the right blush. And, in fact, since we just hit the last part of traffic, I think that it would have been even worse. So, probably in the end, I actually saved us time. Besides, if you had to wait, then wouldn't you rather wait back at the house than in the car? See? Exactly. I had it all planned out from the beginning. (laughs) But, even if I hadn't, spending time with you is never time wasted, so, really, wherever it is, I don't mind. But, actually, so, remember how I said that this was just, like, a treat for you, since we haven't seen each other in a while, and you've been busy at work and all that? Well, that might have been it teensy teensy bit of a well not quite a lie that sounds a little too much maybe a fib that's closer but the thing is and don't take this the wrong way but 
I noticed that one of your new co-workers is a girl. And that's not a problem, obviously, in and of itself, of course, since, like, women exist in the workforce, and that's totally fine, obviously. But I just noticed that you had mentioned her name before, and then the other day when you asked me to help you out with the map on your phone, so I did, but I noticed you had her number, like, in your contacts on your personal phone. And... I'm not trying to imply that anything is wrong or anything like that, of course. I mean, I know that you have to talk to people to be able to work with them. But, I mean, you never mentioned having anybody's number in your personal phone before. You always just kept it on your work phone or just use email or something like that, so... Well, at first, I thought that it probably wasn't a big deal, but then I got thinking about it and, well... I know that you're spending a lot of time at work lately, and specifically on this project, which is totally fine and everything like that, but, well, she's the only one that's working on that project with you, isn't she? Yeah, that's what I thought. And I guess it would make sense that you would have her number in your phone, since you'd be communicating about that all the time, but, well, do you really need her contact info all the time? Can't she just stay at work and your life can stay everywhere else? What? No, I'm not jealous of some random girl from your work. I'm just saying that since you've been spending a lot of time on the project, and it mostly involves working with said random girl, maybe it would be better if you spent less time on the project and more time with me at home. Since I'm not a random girl, but your girlfriend? Hmm? No, this isn't just because she's a girl who's working with you. I mean, if you had a guy's number in your phone, and he was just from work, then it would be kind of weird, too. I mean, I know you've mentioned the girl to me before, so it's not like I totally didn't know about her. But you said that she was just a co-worker, and that you didn't really even like hanging out with her that much. So, I don't know why her number would be in your phone. I'm not making a mountain out of a molehill. I'm just mentioning that maybe you could come home early from work a bit more than you have been lately. And really, it doesn't have anything to do with this girl, because I probably would have been asking this sooner rather than later anyway, regardless of whose number was in your phone, or who was doing that project with you, or all of that stuff just really doesn't matter. The real point is... I know that work is important to you, and I'm glad that it is, because I'm really proud of you for working hard and all of that, but surely there are other things that can be important, too? And if there's people that you need to talk to, I can find some friends for us to start hanging out with. Since if you come home earlier, we could have time to go to a bar, and we could go and talk to people, like, casually. As long as it wasn't anything more than that. And just hang out and make friends and... I guess... I know that you spend a lot of time at work for work reasons. And that probably that is the reason. But... I don't know. Since we haven't been able to spend that much time together lately with... Your job and my job and everything. I was just... Getting a little nervous that... Maybe there was more of a reason that you were staying there than just work. So, when I saw a random girl's contact in your phone, and I knew that she was from work, and that you had probably been spending time with her during those times that you could have been spending time with me, and I was just sitting alone eating dinner by myself, and you were there with that girl, I don't know. I don't want to be the type of girlfriend that asks you to not talk to anyone else or come home after work immediately, or not have any friends outside of me, but I guess I am asking you 
to at least think about me before you make the decision to stay at work. And remember that I'm waiting for you, too. And I don't mind waiting most of the time, because I really care about you, and I want to be with you and all, but I want you to want to be with me, too, is all. So, yeah. Sorry if I kind of tricked you into having this conversation by having a nice dinner. But, on the bright side, now you know how nice it can be if you decide to come home and stay with me instead of staying at that dingy office all day, right? I don't want to ruin our night by fighting or anything, so I won't bring it up too much for now. But just something to think about for me, if you can, please. And look at that! Our food is here. Good timing, huh? I can't wait to see what it tastes like. And also try to steal some of yours on top of eating mine. Ha ha! Too bad. That's the price of having a girlfriend. But also, I'm really glad that we get to spend time together today. I hope that we can keep doing it.